Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment in under 40 minutes? Then stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pengasus Bay. Say, it is great to have you here. And before we dive in, I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. It's 2024, and we are looking forward to this new year. We first of all just want to say thank you. Thank you for all the support you guys showed us in 2023. Brand new channel, you know, off to a great start, and we look forward to unveiling a whole bunch of great new builds for you in this upcoming year. So thanks again for your support. Say, we are looking at the canvas for today's build, which is a campus, our canvas campus. And that campus is going to be the new University Village here in Pangasis Bay. You can see down here below that there's this ridge line that runs along here. And we're gonna take advantage of that today. We're gonna to build a campus that's got two distinct areas. One, this upper campus, which will have all of our big major university buildings. And then two, the lower campus that's going to have a lot of our student housing, maybe some shops and stores, maybe some nightclubs and so forth down in that area. And then the other thing we're going to do today is we are in unveiling a new faction. Now, if you watched any of our Grand Vanillica trailer video, there was mention made in there that new factions were you know, springing up all around Grand Vanillica. And the first new faction that we're introducing for you today is called the Erudition Coalition. The Erudition Coalition. It's a new faction and, you know, they're mission is they want to call forth to the new continent to be this new home of invention and ingenuity where scholars and scientists, theologians and philosophers from all over the world can gather to push the limits of human creation. They have got an ambitious goal. They've got a lot of money and they want to build a beautiful new university here in Pangasis Bay. And who are we to stand in their way? <laughs> Now, just as a reminder, we are a new channel. And so if you saw something today that you like, make sure to leave us a comment below and make sure to tell everyone what you saw here on City Sculptor's channel. Also, make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Pangasus Bay and the rest of our Grand Vanillica series as well. All right, we threw a lot at you there. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to come in here and do some terrain work. I need to make sure that this big space up here is nice and level because I want to have this university sitting up a little higher and I want to push this elevation out quite a bit, maybe even exaggerate it a little bit so that we've got a nice flat tier on which to build. And uh, I'm going to push this out quite a bit all the way out and kind of try and follow that terrain line there. And in fact, I'll grab this down below it, carve all the way down here. Yeah, I mean, that's probably going to be good. And then we'll just cut back along here just to accentuate that a little bit more. Again, I'm just going to bring this out so that we've got a nice good ridge line to work with. Because what I want to do is I want to separate that lower area from the, the upper area using a um, you know pedestrian road and kind of creating a key wall effect with that. And so I think if we take this push it all the way out here. Now we've got a long ridge line that we can work our pedestrian road into. And that's going to be the first thing I'm going to put in. Although, you know, I'm going to want to tidy this up down here too. Maybe I'd decrease our brush size a little bit just to get in here and tighten that up. Make this a nice gentle curve following along here and coming up along this road. And again, we can, we can make this nice and sharp for now because we'll come back in and smooth that out a little later. So now I can start putting in my uh, my wall. But, you know, before I do that, let's do this. Let's go get all these trees out of here. <laughs> you know, we've got so many trees in here that I can't even tell what I'm doing just yet. So let's uh, I'll increase our strength of the brush and just kind of take a bunch of these trees out. First thing I want to do is I want to grab that, that pedestrian road, take my elevation steps down so that it's just minor, maybe 2.5. And I want to start by drawing a nice straight line out of here. I'm going to turn off all my snaps because I want to get in here and make sure that the level of this road is kind of right there, right along the level of the, uh, the terrain. And I'm going to bring this wall way out here to a point where hopefully if I can get it around zero, I mean, it's pretty close, negative, positive 0.1. How does that look? 
yeah, it looks pretty darn good. And I think that's going to serve us well. So we can draw that line. Now I turn my snaps back on and continue that line right down along here. Yeah, see now we've got that big retaining wall in here and I think it looks pretty cool. This nice serpentine and then it comes all the way down along this road and we're going to straighten that road out at some point here and then makes that nice bend over there. So when you're sitting up on top of this plateau, you're going to have a really nice little view. Yeah, I think this is going to work out nicely. So the next thing I need to do is I need to come in here with, uh, you know, kind of another pedestrian. Well, actually, no, it's got to be a regular road here because I want to connect from this point here. And we're just going to draw a straight line and we're going to go north. We're going to go north to about here. And we need to have a regular road in addition to these pedestrian roads. And I'll tell you why. We're going to start dropping in some assets here. And the first one I want to drop in is, surprisingly, a high school. I want to drop a high school in here. And the reason I want to put that in there, well, there's actually two reasons. One, uh, I think we're going to need it, first of all, because Hickory Heights area here doesn't have a high school nearby. So this will be useful. And then the second reason I want to put it in is because I want to drop in this sports stadium that comes along with that high school pack. I think that this is going to be a really cool look because you've got, you know, this big stadium here. And yeah, it's going to be a small private university, but who knows, maybe they're very competitive in sports. <laughs> so we're going to do that to start. And then across from the stadium, I want to drop in a parking lot, a nice big parking lot too. Let's see, one is a very large parking lot. Yeah, let's do that. And if I drop in one of these very large parking lots, I want to put it so it's kind of along here, uh, just so that the outside on you know the the right edge here matches up to the right edge of the of the uh, high school stadium. And then I want to have a road that kind of threads its way back up into here. So let's do that. Let's grab our slope terrain tool. And I want to pick that height way down here below. And I want to start by kind of coming right down into this space here. So now you got this little windy road that comes up and immediately you've got parking over here. So that should be really useful there. And now we can kind of frame up our stadium here with some pedestrian roads. I like the idea of a pedestrian road because I want to make this a really uh, you know, pedestrian friendly campus. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to tuck up in this area and I got to make sure again, let's take a look at our terrain, smooth out our terrain a little bit up here. I want to tuck in an American football field up in this space. And the reason I want to do so is because you got this nice big stadium that's up in here and the team's going to need a practice field. <laughs> So if we grab one of these uh, American football fields, let's turn off our snapping for right now and just try and get it in so it's at an angle where it's maybe right up kind of close to that parking lot there and kind of overlooks the, uh, the road down below. You know, maybe about, let's try and bring it out to the edge there. What I can do now is just grab a, maybe a pedestrian road, come from this corner, come straight out so I'm up against that building and then run that along at an angle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you know, it gives us a little gap in here. Uh, it looks a little, little wonky there, but that's all right, that's okay. All right, in this little notch right in here, let's just drop in a park. Let's grab a small park and drop that in there. I think that'll, yeah, that fits in there kind of nicely. Let's run this pedestrian road out a little bit. And then I could probably grab an angle here just to create a kind of an odd shaped space in here, but something that we can use there. Okay, so that'll take a 90 degree angle and that's fine. That's just fine. Let's come in and grab our tree brush and let's uh, knock down some of these trees that are in this little pocket right here. All right, so now I've got a little spot back here because what I, what I was thinking about doing is just adding in some you know, some tennis courts. And I want to do something just as a kind of at, at an angle, like a, at a bias here. Let's turn off our snapping. If I can grab these tennis courts, let's just see here. I don't think I can replicate this angle here. I think that would be, yeah, see if you can see the little road marker on our tennis court. It's too far away from that. But maybe I can just set, offset them ever so slightly and try and drop this in as close to the road as I can. And then just repeat, close as I can. And then repeat. Let's see if we can get four of these in here. I don't know. Can we try? And how does that look? Oh, cool. Yeah, so now we've got these four tennis courts that are sitting at kind of a, kind of a wonky angle, but it, it brings some additional character in the space there. Yeah. Uh, and then let's grab a pedestrian road and have it run behind there if I can. Yeah. 
And then back in here, I could tuck in, I don't know, some alleyways with some, some, you know, some maybe some housing back here, some student housing back in there. All right, so now we've got some student housing, tennis courts, a nice little plaza here. This is a private institution, um, large private institution, religious and affili affiliated. I, I'll leave that up to you as to which religion it's going to be. And so as such, we are going to put in a big cathedral. And of course, the big cathedral that we have at our disposal is the cathedral at Notre Dame. And this is this one here. Look at that. Let's turn our snapping back on. And I envisioned in my mind, you know, maybe we can have this cathedral lined up with the the uh, football field there, kind of like at uh, Notre Dame University in South Bend, Indiana, they've got what they call touchdown Jesus overlooking the field. <laughs> well, maybe we'll have, oh, there you go. Uh, milestone number 16 unlocked, Thriving Metropolis. Wow. All right. Well, we're making our way quite nicely. Uh, so we've got, we've got the cathedral. What in the world is that? Okay, after demoing the cathedral and then rebuilding it a couple times, it looks like it's not bugged anymore. Oh, I need to move it over now one spot. This will probably bug it again. Ah, no, look at that. Okay, it's perfect. All right, now it's nice and lined up with our football stadium. Boy, that was really strange. Kept getting a strange artifact, but we got it cleared up. All right, so now we're going to expand our little, our little plaza line to come out there. And we've got this nice, you know, walking plaza that's between the cathedral and the, the stadium. We'll drop in a couple more parks in here. Let's do that. Let's grab large city park. That's what we want. Yeah, and I'll put the large city park so it's up against... That could be kind of cool. Yeah, it fits in there nicely. And then I'll grab a, a smaller park, put that here, and yeah, then it can mirror up that fountain, right? It looks kind of like it's... Those fountains are aligned, this fountain and that fountain, a little bit. Uh, I can do some decorative sidewalking in there. We'll continue along our walking road here. Or, uh, just bring this up for now, just as a placeholder. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Let's just bring that up north here as a placeholder. 90 degrees, please. Thank you. And then let's bring in our soccer field. There we go. If so if I have one of those, I'll put it into this corner here. And then I want to have, because I'd like to have the stands facing each other. So let's do like this. Let's bring this road right across here. There we go. And then bring another soccer field in. But this time we're going to snap it to the top. And they're facing each other. Maybe we can put a little line of trees in between the two just to soften it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. So now I can grab our university. Drop that into that corner there. And let's just see if our park now, what's the university park, does it fit? It does. Look at that. It just fits in there. Ah, perfect. Gorgeous. Okay. So you got this beautiful university park you know, with the back of our university building. And it's overlooking this little rise here. So that's that's cool. Let's take our university library. Yeah. Oh, where do I want to add that in? Do I want to put it off the parking lot maybe? Let's do that. Let's put it right there. I think that'll look cool. Oh, yeah. See, the, the little pavement connects right into the, uh, into the driveway. So you could park there and then come to the... Uh, library. That's cool. There's a couple other assets I definitely want to use in this build. And one of them is our geology research. We unlocked this one quite a while ago. Uh, let's see, where is that one? A geological research center. Yeah, I think this would be really cool. Just kind of right in here. Here, I'm going to turn off the bright white. Got that little side plaza here. So maybe this is, uh, oh, you know what I have to be mindful of? Does it have a parking lot? Maybe I need to put it next to this parking lot. But if I center it up here, I could put two parks on either side of it. That might look kind of cool, too. Let's see what that looks like. Let's drop that in there. And then I could put like a pair of these, these small plazas, maybe a pair of those. Give them one on either side. Let's take this and then I can move this building over one. All right. So if I do that. Now I've got a two gap between each of those two plazas and that, you know, then I can, I can frame that up nicely. You know, I, one of the other assets I want to put in here is the Health Research Institute. Yeah, that's it. We've got a good sized space back in there. Maybe what I'll do is come out here. So if I do like this and then come in here, now I've got the same orientation as this. And then if I grab that medical research building, how big is that? Ooh, it fits in there perfectly. Let's drop that guy in there. So it kind of frames up this, uh, I don't know, this larger university space. So here's what I've got in mind. Let's, um, yeah, we got to make sure we got a good slope here. So I want to start with this up here and I want to bend this road up to here. Winging things along here. We're going to come right out this way and we're going to get at a 90 degree angle if the game will let us. There. Okay, 
So now what I should be able to do is come in and spring a road off of this, kind of right down the middle here, and drop in a big roundabout there. And then this road, actually, we can convert into, let's convert this into just a regular two lane, this way and this way. And then let's see. Yeah, this one we're going to have to have as a driving road, probably just coming straight out over into here somewhere because we need to create access to our, you know, our university and our medical research center. So that road is already a regular driving road. We'll take this road. We're going to come straight out 90 degrees. Okay. And then I can bring that into here. 90 degrees off of that one and attach here. Uh, change this road in here to a driver road and this one to a driving road. And then that's fine. I think that that'll be okay. What we can do then is come back in here and you know, I can cut that off and then I can bring pedestrian roads to come off of, off of here to mirror up to there, come back into here. Because I think it's okay to have, uh, you know, just like a little space back in here that we're going to use. And I'll, and I'll explain what I, what I want to do back in here because I think this could be kind of neat too. I'm going to build out just like a little frame here for what we're going to call our honors housing. So our honors housing will be our high achieving, um, high GPA students will have kind of more luxurious style housing back in here. Yeah, I mean, I think those are all the big assets that I wanted to drop in here. I think it's really kind of looking cool. So yeah, we're off to a good start with our university. So the next thing we want to do is we want to drop in some residential. I was thinking some student housing down in this area here where we can mix in some um, kind of medium density residential in here with some shops, maybe some mixed use commercial residential uh, and, you know, some parking down along the railroad track. So let's start by grabbing our level terrain tool and grab an elevation that we think is going to be a good height. So now that we've got that in place, let's grab our two lane road. I want to try using this grid tool for the first time ever uh, and see how that turns out. Let's see if I come out maybe 72 and then run that out here like that. It creates lots of little blocks. Okay, now you see a nice big grid pattern there. And now we can start to fill in the Central Avenue uh, in, and some pedestrian roads in this space. So let's go ahead and start tackling that. I'm going to start by coming down in here, and I'm going to pick one of these roads to be our main road. And I think this one here, Hickory Street, we can do that. We can grab a, let's do a medium road, and we're going to upgrade this to a medium road. Let's see, maybe we're going to turn off Snap to our existing, yeah, maybe Snap down the middle there. If I do that, it's going to create a little extra space coming off of that. Yeah. And then you know, I'm going to come in here with a big central roundabout. Maybe, you know, let's do a large roundabout, kind of right smack in the middle here. Let's do that. And now I can come in and eliminate a few of these extra side streets to create a big central gathering place right here in the middle. I think that's going to be important. Uh, and then next thing I want to do is I want to come back in and I want to upgrade a lot of these roads into pedestrian roads. I probably should have done it in the first place, but let's just go ahead and do that now. Okay, now we've got our roads set up the way we want them. I wanted to make sure that I have car access that comes down through here and is able to thread down into these spaces down here because I think I'm going to put a lot of parking down here along the railroad tracks. Uh, and in fact, I might even peel this whole section back a little bit. It might be too close to the tracks, but we'll see how it fits. Now I'm going to drop in a couple of small parks in here. Maybe just zoom right in here. We'll put one there, one there, one there, and one there and see how that looks. Okay, so that'll create kind of almost this little plaza look and feel about the very center part around the roundabout. And then what we'll do is we're going to have probably eliminate these sidewalks that are right here in the corners or right along the roundabout and push them out a little bit further. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll come in behind it with paths. So if I grab my paths and come in right behind it, I should be able to cut right across here, go all the way out here. See what I'm doing? I'm just 
boxing up this whole kind of central plaza area. And that'll be a little bit better. And now it's, it's starting to take on some definition in that center space. Now we can put in, you know, some commercial and shops kind of running down along this area and some mixed use housing as well. Now we can start looking at uh, filling in the blocks and see what they look like. Now I had an idea for some of these blocks uh, to have some row houses, but I, what I thought about doing here was doing something maybe a little bit different. Like if I come in here and uh, let's see here, is this an odd number? If I come in and grab European style row houses and just do three deep there and three deep there, I'm going to go ahead and hit play get the game going, just to see what that looks like. If I drop those in and then flank it with North American style row houses here and here, and then come back and do the same on this side and this side, then I think from a decorative standpoint, you're going to have a little, you know, one of our units in the center will have a little peak and then the other ones will be flat topped. So it might look like one large apartment complex, you know, and again, off campus student housing is not going to be, you know, necessarily super nice and fancy, but and it's got to be functional. You know, going back to this big plaza space here, I think I want to put in some mixed use zoning in there. We've got, our, let's see, I'll probably use a European style of mixed use zoning because I just like the look and feel of that. And I would think that, you know, as we think about commercial stuff, probably occupying those corner squares there. But if I come in here and go three by four with mixed use right there, and then do the same thing right here with mixed use, you know, then um, what we can do is we can come in and we can drop in some uh, low density commercial, I should say, right on those corners. Uh, let's just see here. Those should probably just be shops and stuff on the corner. There, 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 and there. And then those will start to build in. Uh, and then we'll kind of do kind of a, a similar look and feel working our way all the way around this inner square where we've got some low, you know, low density commercial with some mixed use housing in there that hopefully won't grow too high. I'd like to keep it, you know, fairly short. You can see our houses now have started to fill in and we're transitioning into fall. You've got all these, all these beautiful autumn colors out there, all the oranges and yellows. It's very beautiful. So in the, the areas that are adjacent to the parking, let's see if we can drop in something that looks a little bit more you know, maybe a little bit larger footprint building as opposed to the row homes. And I'm going to do, let's go with European uh, medium density housing. And if I do that, I want to make sure that I want to keep it in three by three blocks. So if I come in here and do, uh, let's see, something like grab that three by three block there. It's going to keep them kind of short. And I want to do that there and there. I'll come in behind that, do the same thing again there and there. Let those fill in. And then if I do a three by three here, right? Yeah. Okay, good. And it's on the correct streets. And then I should be able to come in like this, a two by three and a two by three. Just keep painting them in. Yeah. So the ones that are in a little bit closer to the parking lots will be just a little bit bigger. They shouldn't be very tall, but they'll just be a little bit larger in footprint. And you can see we're going to get a lot of people in in this space. So we'll just continue painting those out. And then let's see. What else do we want to bring into this space? Do we want to bring in any attractions into this space? Maybe it might be kind of fun to have a community pool or something like that in here. How big is that? Oh, it fits perfectly in one of those little squares. That might be kind of cool. Or maybe I should just put it down here. Maybe close to the train track. That's kind of cool. Now we got a place for people to come and hang out and catch some sun if the sun ever comes back out <laughs> and uh, enjoy the pool. Look at that water. It's beautiful. Now, one of the other things we're going to want to do is uh, drop in some, maybe a bus stop or two down in this space. You know, because I think buses would be kind of primo to come running through here, take everybody to and from uh, this neighborhood. So let's see here. Probably put in a little bus stop shelter down along here. Maybe another one down along here somewhere. And up in here. And in here. Okay, I didn't like the way that those this block over here turned out. It's really heavy. And that's not the look I was going for. Plus, I think these are the North Americans. So I'm going to come back over here and, and redo this block down here. And do this in the European style with the medium density housing. And I want to come in and put a 3x3 three three square there. Yeah, okay. So it's facing out there. I'm going to leave a gap of one. I'm going to drop in another 3x3. Three three, and then down here, I'll drop in a third one. 
Yeah, okay. And just give it a little bit more space. And these are the medium density EU houses here. And then behind it, I think I'll come in and do uh, two by three. So we're going to go two by three there, two by three there. We'll go two by three there, and we'll go two by three there, which, you know, I wonder if it makes a difference if where you start the zoning from. If I start from here and go out, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll just keep deleting it until we get a, there we go. Get the entrance on this side of the street. All right, so then that'll allow for little walkways to to occur naturally through there, and you know I'll put in some pathways and so forth. So let's let's re uh, readdress this one over here. That just is not the way we want it to be. There we go. Those are starting to fill in the right directions now, and we'll be able to go in and thread in some sidewalks. It also gives us room for planting trees and bushes and shrubs. That's that'll be really nice too. What I want to do down in this little corner down here, if you think about a big American university. Uh, almost all of them have uh, some sort of a fraternity or sorority area. And uh, you know, I, I, I've seen a few of those campuses here and there over my days, and maybe those houses aren't the most elegant, but I think we could do something kind of fun in here. Uh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put in, can we do a, a three by three by three house in here? Would, will that, yeah, that's fine. A three by three house in there, maybe throw another one over here. And we're just doing kind of standard low density, uh, you know, residential in here. In fact, I don't know if there's a difference between, yeah, there probably is. But we'll come in here and we'll, we'll throw in a couple North Americans like that. And then we'll come back in with maybe another European up in here, maybe a two by, and then another one there. Yeah. And so this area will be those little low, you know, low density residential homes back in here. Um, yeah, and it wouldn't be all that uncommon for them to be next to a, a train track, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know who's going to be louder, the, uh, the fraternities or the, uh, the trains. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> all right. So we'll drop in some of those here and, and along here just to kind of change up the look and feel down in this space here. And those will be our, what they call the Greeks, right? Your fraternities and sororities just kind of nestled in down here in this little noisy corner uh, along the railroad track. <laughs> yeah, that'll work out nicely. With all of that starting to fill in down here, this feels like a really good place for us to jump into a time lapse here because I've got a lot of work to do. I want to come back over to the campus, you know, the campus proper and, you know, tidy up the roads. I want to build out a nice decorative quad out here. Maybe some decorative pathing in there. There's a lot more details that I want to put into this. I want to drop in some big university dorm towers right up in here. And then, as I mentioned, this is going to be our honors housing down here. I think this is going to be a mostly row, ho row homes and so forth, but it's uh, really going to be kind of the nice, you know, nice part of the camp. Just a beautiful set of homes back in there. Uh, and just tidy this up a little bit. And then, of course, I'll come back in here. I'll fill in some of these other empty blocks that we've got here and, uh, you know, tie the whole university district uh, all together. Why don't you guys just sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse. Let's connect back here after that and we can recap our build.
right, welcome back. And I give you the University Village at Pangasis Bay. Uh, <laughs> this one was a lot of fun to build out. And I really love the way that this campus turned out here. We've got it nestled up on this hillside, really right next to adjacent to Hickory Heights and then overlooking the bay. But we've got two distinct areas of the campus. You've got an upper campus in the background there and a lower campus with a lot of student housing in the foreground. All right, let's just jump right on in. We started off with that retaining wall, that big pedestrian road here that served as a retaining wall to give us definition on that upper campus. And then we came in and we dropped in our high school because we had a need for the high school just due to the proximity of Hickory Heights. And that high school also afforded us the opportunity to bring in this big football campus, which was really needed in this space. We put in our training facility in the background here. You can see the Chirpers Stadium in the background. And then we've got some dorms that are right there. Maybe those are the student athlete dorms. We've got some offset tennis courts back here, which I thought turned out really neat in that space. And of course, the swimming pool with a high diving platform. And then we've got a little university dorm structure, a little setting back there behind that you know, sports facility with a little nice visibility overlooking that forest sitting in behind. Making our way right along, we dropped in our soccer fields as well as some decorative parks and plazas all the way up and around the campus. And of course, the star of the show, our top five creation, is our cathedral at Notre Dame along with the huge plaza that we have sitting outside there. I think the cathedral looks just gorgeous up there on that ridge and that plaza really helps to uh, really set it aside and, and keeps all the visual obstructions away from getting in the way of the beautiful cathedral. Continuing right along, we have our university and university library, and the university library has this gorgeous backyard here with some sidewalking here to create the illusion of stairs coming down one, two, three. And then, of course, the university itself has this big, beautiful plaza. And then we dropped in our Health Research Institute back here, which is super important uh, for all of the residents of Pangasis Bay. And we've got our geological institute sitting here on the side as well. Dropped in some basketball courts for a little leisure there. And then of course we had our university honors housing with these big, beautiful, you know, European style row homes that made its way around this plaza. And then of course, another corner of them tucked in back here. It's a really nice decorative spot that just frames up the campus nicely. Now, venturing down across the main arterial road, we've got our massive student housing complex. And this has got a whole variety of row houses and uh, it's got you know multi-purpose or mixed use buildings as well as some medium density European residential. I wanted to call attention to these you know, these row houses down here because we used our European style row houses in the center flanked up by North American style on either side to kind of create the illusion of you know, one large massive apartment building complex. So I thought that turned out great. It's more indicative of what you might see in the more affordable student housing options in the university campus. All right, well, that's about gonna wrap up today's episode, but you're gonna wanna sit tight because you don't wanna miss our cinematics at the end. Now, just as a reminder, we are a new channel. And so if you saw something that you liked today, be sure to leave us a comment below and make sure you tell everyone what you saw on City Sculptor's channel. <laughs> also, make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Pangasis Bay and our Grand Vanillica series in general. All right, well, with that, I'm gonna bid you a fond farewell. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Mm -hmm.